Welcome to CNC Learn and Build. I'm Randy Johnson. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use the Shark RS1000 Pro CNC router table to cut a variety of joints. The RS1000 Pro comes with over 12 built-in joinery apps, and you can find links to all of them in the description below this video. It's also worth pointing out that when setting up the RS1000 Pro, all the apps use the same nine basic steps. I'll go over all of them in detail, but you'll find that once you become familiar with them, operating the RS1000 Pro is pretty straightforward. In this video, I'll show you how to set up and run the Through Dovetail app on the RS1000 Pro. The first step is to install the router bit. For this setup, I'm using a 17 32nd inch diameter by 7 degree dovetail bit, but the app takes dovetail bits of other angles and diameters as well. Use the pendant to raise the collet above the table and then change the bit as usual. Next, open the setup window and enter the bit diameter, which is 0.531 in this case. There are a couple of places in the pendant where you can enter the bit diameter, but I prefer doing it here, plus it is needed for the fence calibration, which is coming up shortly. With the bit diameter entered, lower the bit and open the apps menu to select the touch plate calibration option. I'm starting with the bit calibration first. Click through until the white control button appears. Then attach the magnet to the bit or the collet and click the OK to advance to the next screen. Check that the magnet has a good connection by touching the plate to the bit. If this checks out, click OK to start the bit calibration. The bit will automatically rise up, touch the bottom of the plate, and go back down below the table. Click OK to accept the results. Next, open Run Fence Calibration and click through again to the screen with the white control button. Press this button to open the control screen and use the buttons to raise the bit above the table and to bring the fence forward. Next, rotate the bit so the flutes are square to the fence. I find the touch plate works well as a guide for this step. Then put the plate between the fence and the bit. Click OK to advance to the next screen and tip the plate onto the bit to check the connection. And then click OK to start the fence calibration. With the bit and the fence calibrations complete, Remove the magnet and touch plate from the work area. Use the buttons on the main screen of the pendant to back off the fence and lower the bit and then replace the insert ring. If you've ever cut through dovetails, then you know that setting the bit height is crucial to attaining a good fit. Fortunately, the RS1000 Pro has an app for that too. It's called the Test Dovetail app. The Test Dovetail and Through Dovetail apps both require the optional sliding miter fence or a shop made sled to support the boards for the end cuts. I added sandpaper to the fence with some thin double sided tape to prevent the boards from slipping while routing, but clamps are another option. When you open the Test Dovetail app, you'll see a list of parameters that need to be set up just like the other apps. Start at the bottom with the tail depth. For this project, I'm setting this to 3 quarters of an inch, which is the same as the thickness of my board. Next, enter the bit angle, which is 7 degrees in this case, and then verify the bit diameter. With the bit information entered, open the spacing setting. 
Notice how it recommends a setting of 0.878. This is a good place to start for the first test. If this proves too tight or loose, I can fine tune it by adjusting the spacing up or down a small amount. The Test Dovetail app is now set up and ready to run. Click through the next couple of screens, which automatically position the fence and the bit for the first cut. Make this cut in both boards and then advance the fence for cut number two. Checking the fit shows that the joint is too tight. At this point, I could change the space setting, but I've also found that rerunning the boards at the same setting seems to clean up the joint just enough to create a good fit. It doesn't always work, but it's usually worth a try. And in this case, it looks like it worked just fine. Next, open the Apps menu and select the Through Dovetail app. Opening this app reveals the same settings as the Test app, plus a couple more. Starting with the tail depth, I enter the same 0.75 I used in the Test app. I'm going to skip the spacing setting for now. Next is the material width, which is 3.5 for this project. The bit angle doesn't carry over, so I need to enter that here as well. The bit diameter does carry over, but I still check it just to make sure. Now I can go back to the space setting. The recommended setting is the same as we saw in the test app, and it worked fine, so I'll use it here as well. I'm now ready to run the tail portion of the joint. Proceed through each screen until the tails are all cut on the end of one board. Notice I'm cutting forward and then carefully pulling the board back over the cutter. This creates the double pass that I used in the test board. On the last pass, hold the board extra firm and feed it slow since it's a climb cut. And the rotation of the bit can pull the board away from the fence if you hold the board too lightly or feed too fast. Running the dovetail pins is a two-step process. The first step involves running the board on end, just like for the tail, except the spacing is opposite. For step two, a stop block is needed. Position the stop block so the distance to the leading edge of the bit equals the thickness of your material. Run this cut flat with the surface that is on the outside of your box facing up. Make sure there are no chips under your board, or it will certainly spoil the fit. Use the push block to hold the board down and cycle through each cut until all the pins are trimmed. This step creates the angle needed for the pins to fit the tails. 
However, there's a small amount of material that must be trimmed out by hand, either with a utility knife or a chisel. With the handwork done, it's ready for assemble. A few taps with the mallet, and it's home stuck. A few things to consider when cutting through dovetails with the RS-1000 Pro. One is, make sure the ends of your boards are cut perfectly square. The same goes for your router fence and sliding miter. They must be set up perfectly square with the table and with each other. And try to be consistent as possible when cutting the parts, since even a small variation in any of these steps will negatively affect how the joint fits. But with a bit of practice, Making through dovetail joints with RS-1000 Pro is fairly easy, especially if you don't have a standalone jig or don't wish to make them by hand. For links to other RS-1000 Pro joinery apps, see the description below this video.